Welcome back to a sunny day in Thailand. We had tremendous rain and flooding over the weekend, but now we're back at bright sunny skies and the tourists are starting to flock in for high season. Flocking tourists. Anyway, I wanted to show you a little mini project that is a sub-project of a sub-project of the battery uh, bottom balancer system. You might have seen these little LCD displays uh, around in the Arduino world, and I thought I would use one to show the uh, state of voltage of each of the six batteries that are in the system under test. So I bought one, wired it up into the Arduino, and this is a little uh, potentiometer that controls the brightness of the backlight. So let's take a look. So here's where I bought the display at Tata Electronics out of Bangkok. They've got really fast shipping to me, so I, I go to them first shot whenever I find I need something like this. So this is the LCD display. Let's see if we can get a bigger picture. Uh, it's got two rows of 20 characters and this 16-pin uh, connector on the side for all the input and output wires and ground and power and the uh, voltage for the backlight. And they do a really cool thing. They actually give you these schematics, or not schematics, but breadboard layouts for both the Arduino Nano and the Arduino Uno. So this is exactly the one I've got. And they show their, this is actually the uh, 8 by 2 display, no, no, sorry, 16 by 2 display rather than the 20 by 2. The 16 by 2's got one single line of pins. Mine's got the two lines of 8 on the side over here, so you can't just plug it directly into a breadboard uh, because the, the two rows of 8 pins don't. Uh, w electrically match up to a breadboard anywhere. Anyway, so I did the wiring and they give some sample code. The Arduino IDE actually has an example called Hello World, which is under the liquid crystal examples, which displays Hello World on the display and then counts up in seconds. This display, or this uh, suggested schematic, slightly changes the wiring from the example. So they show you exactly how to change the wiring pins, and you change two lines of code, the LCD object, which pins are being used to drive it, and then you tell it whether you've got the 16 by 2 or the 20 by 2 display. So let's give it a shot and see what happens. And here's the Hello World sample code. You can see they've got good documentation. And it talks about um, the Hitachi HD47780 driver chip. And that's the LCD driver that exists on most of these types of uh, display boards in the industry. So it turns out a lot of them can use the uh, default code that comes with Arduinos, which is pretty cool. It shows their example default wiring, which we're going to change a little bit. And the code itself is very simple. Uh, we're, we've replaced the initialization line with the one from the web page that shows that it tells the LCD object that these are the pins that are being used to drive certain functions. Um, the enable pin and the four data pins and the reset pin, I think it is. And then we first we create the LCD object, then we call the begin function with uh, the X and the Y parameters. So it's got 20 characters across and two rows. And then we print hello world on the screen. And since this is the first print statement, it's going to be at 0, 0, which is in the upper left hand corner. We do that once in the setup method. Then each time through the loop, we position the, the cursor at position 0 of our column 0 and row 1, which is the bottom left-hand corner, and we print the number of milliseconds since the system booted 
divided by a thousand. So that's basically going to count up by uh, 1000 each time. So let's take a look and see how this works. I'm going to compile and upload the code to the board. It's uploading, it's done, and we come over and the board is now running. Hello world, and we're counting up in seconds. So that was pretty easy. And this uh, potentiometer adjusts the, the voltage for the backlight. There's a lot of it does nothing, it's invisible. Then you go up, 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 and you can just start to see it. And there's a very small amount at the end, and that's the end. So you can probably safely drive this uh, LCD display at its maximum rated voltage and not even use the potentiometer. So we've got a sample running. So now let's uh, write some code to display six battery voltages here, and we'll see what happens. Okay, I've taken the sample code and updated it to for my needs. And one of the cool things that this board can do, or the Hitachi chip on the board, is you can define your own custom character, and you can have eight of them running at any one time and being displayed. Uh, you can also change them on the fly, but you're limited to eight. So what I did is I found a website that allows you to design your character quite easily by clicking in boxes, and then it generates the code for each of these shapes that you designed. So I made a small X shape, and I made a checkbox. And I'll uh, show the website here. So here's a super helpful web page to uh, help you design custom characters for that Hitachi driver chip. It's got a little display of uh, 8 by 5 pixels, and as you define your character very, very easily on the screen, I don't know what I'm doing here, it builds that uh, byte array that tells the Hitachi chip, this is what I want the character to look like. And at the same time, you can tell it which pins on the Arduino you're using, to def which are hooked up to what pins on the LCD module. And then it gives you all the source code to match what you've defined here. So it's got your custom character. It's got the setup for your custom character and it's got the uh, initialization for the LCD object based on the pins you're using to drive it. So that was super easy. I just drew my small X shape and the checkbox here, and then I copied out this, and I got the exact characters I was looking for. So go here for all of your custom character generating needs. Now let's scroll down and take a look at the code. The initial is the same as before, but what you need to do is use lcd.createCharacter. You give it uh, an ID from 0 to 7, I suppose, and then the variable name of that array of bits that you defined above that defines your shape. So I've got my checkbox is 1 and my small x is 2. Then I set the cursor to the upper left hand corner and then we begin our loop. So inside the loop I randomly make up six voltages which range between 2.800 and 4.3. So this is trying to simulate the kinds of voltages I'm going to see when the board is running. With those six voltages, I then display the voltage at a particular place, and then I display the cell status. Now, when I display the voltage, I give it the cell number from 0 to 5, and then the voltage that corresponds to that cell. Now, this display voltage method, based on the cell, it knows where to display that on the board. And then the status, again, is the same thing. I 
tell it which cell to display, and then I pass it in true or false. It's true, which means the cell has completed its bottom balancing, if the voltage is less than 2.9. This will evaluate true if it's less than 2.9, and it will evaluate false if it's greater than 2.9. Then I delay for one second, and we go through the loop again. So let's take a look at those two methods that I defined. Here's the display voltage method. It simply takes the cell ID and the voltage, and it figures out where the cursor needs to go and positions it there. So we call lcd.setCurrent, and you have to pass it the uh, column and row number that you want. So I'm taking the values of the cell from this statically defined array. So this gives the X and Y location, the row and column location for each of the six cells. So it'll be 1, 0, 8, 0, 15, 0 on the first row, then the second row, 1, 1, 8, 8, and 15, 1. So that's how we position the cursor. I then have to convert the voltage, which comes in as a raw floating point number, into the format volts dot volts 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 so i want three decimal places needed to three decimal places and you do this with this d or double two string float function so you pass in the floating point number you say i want a grand total of five characters of output and three decimal places which describes this pattern and then it writes that into this thing this variable string variable called volts string and once i've got volts string formatted i then simply print that on the lcd at the position given by set cursor the display status method is quite similar I have the location for the cursor defined here, 0, 0, 7, 0, 14, 0 for the first row, 0, 1, 7, 1, 14, 1 for the second row. So the first thing I do is I set the cursor to the proper location for the cell, and then I look at it in as the status, either true or false. If the status is true, and that's what this line means, if status is true, then I write uh, our character, our custom character that we defined with number one, which is the checkbox. And that is says that a checkbox means the battery, the cell number is done. Check. If the status is false, we're going to write the small x character, which is defined as character number two. Then I reposition the cursor to 0, 0, because I read in some of the um, web pages that describe all this stuff that unless you then move the cursor away, funny things happen with the display. So just for fun, I decided to throw that in. So let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. Okay, let's kick off the compile and upload of the code. And I'm going to jump over to the display and we're going to watch it change. There, we've just, we're now running that code. You can see, oh, there's a check mark. Most of them show the small x, which means the cell is not completed its bottom balancing. But anything less than or equal to 2.9 volts is going to get the check mark. And we'll see if we can spot one of these coming up at random. There's one. So it's kind of a, jaggedy looking check mark but it's sufficiently different from the X that you can see that it's good and in practice these are not going to be jumping around at random they're going to start at a certain level and they're going to draw down to the the, the bottom trigger value that we set then that checkbox is going to show then the relay will switch off and that cell has completed its bottom balancing so this is a fun little side project. Got to play with some new technology. And uh, for once, a small triumph. So I will take that. As you stare out on my beach, I would ask you 
to subscribe to my channel and click like on this video so YouTube thinks I'm worthy again and I have so many people on my channel that they'll give me 10 cents a day in ad revenue. So I thank you for that.